have major depression. Ah, my life. It is freaking hot where I live right now. I'm not going to say where, because you, know, you get the idea. It's been a long time since I got to the final level of this game before. And obviously I'm going to need a lot of work. As I was saying before, is I actually own this game for the Genesis. It's just that my Genesis has stopped working. And when I go to try to buy a new one at a local uh, you know, game shop, it costs about like 45 bucks. And I don't have 45 bucks. I'm lucky to get 5 bucks. I'm a very poor person. And you're probably wondering, if you're so poor, why do you have stuff like a capture device? It's a combination of haggling and money that I had at the time. I've never had really a lot of money. When I was doing this job, it, it, uh, I don't need to get into that. That's just too depressing. Anyways, here's the reason why I don't work as much as I'd like to. Or don't have as much money as I'd like to. Sigh. So I use video games as a recourse to help ease my troublesome life. I'm lucky though, I got a lot of understanding family. Ah. Who knew that waxing nostalgic about my depressing life is the conversation of this Sonic Spinball review? Not really a review of a playthrough. But that doesn't say something about the game that there's not really much that you can say about it, and I just need to get out that frickin' tube! Ow. There we go. Jeez. Now, in Sonic Spinball, you can slightly control Sonic. Very slightly, though. The position that he's moving. So basically, like, it's like regular gimmicky pinball, but with, you know, the ability to move your your ball, which happens to be Sonic. And all the emeralds, by the way, are colored the exact same. Blue. No difference in color. Obviously, this is canon. It's canon in the Archie comics, but that's besides the point. Hey, alright, I got it in. Again, I'm just seeing how far I can go before getting the game over. Aw, come on. Let's see here. Here we go. I hope I'm actually recording, yeah. Okay. No idea anymore. Just go where I want you to! Jeez, why is it so hard? I suck. Come on, I reached it. I keep forgetting. Sorry. Let me get up there. 
Whenever you die, by the way, anything that any kind of progress that you've done except for collecting emeralds is completely, you know, ignored. Hatches will still stay open. And the arrows that you caught are still counted. Everything else is just good. So you have to do those barrel busting things every single time. Aww. I'm probably not going to get far. I'd like to at least get to the bonus stage. If at that. that lever. What the heck? Leva has been lifted. Bridge is up. There we go. All right. There we go. Sorry, you need two more emeralds. And brown there. Emerald power. You can't go to the left in the beginning of the game, you have to go through that in order to get through here. Alright, last one. Last emerald. Come on. Come on, baby. I've glitched through that door, by the way. I've done it before. Dang it, come on, baby. Come on, come on. Dang. Oh, that was close. That would have sucked so hard. Come on, come on, I just want to get up there. <sighs> I'm lucky that that canister is right there. Otherwise I would have been screwed. Thanks. I'm not Sonic though. I'm just the guy controlling Sonic. Which is an interesting uh, subject to bring up when concerning video games. We are essentially playing as God in every single game, even if it doesn't necessarily uh, be of a building simulator, like a God simulator, like a, a Sim City of the such. We are controlling every character's movements. So we decide where he goes, if he dies or not. What he does, we're essentially playing as God in every single game. All oh, emeralds collected. There's a hypothetical for you. Now I just go back up there and fight the boss. I got the emeralds, so I just gotta get back up 